start quickly and there's a, certainly a quick start there. What a finish. Well, here we see a better angle on it. And there's nothing the keeper can do. A significant deflection and he's beaten. A chance to revisit the goal. Mandzukic. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. And Cuadrado. And a goal by Cristiano Ronaldo. So typical of him. Well, here's the replay. I'm sure the keeper will be looking at his defenders, but what can they do? It's a lovely strike off his laces in the back of the net. Janic. Matuidi. Emre Can. And stopped there by Marquinhos. Mario Mandzukic. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact, does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on Excellent it. Excellent pressure high up the pitch. Immaculately placed by Kraxler. Big chance to get them on terms. And he's found the net here. And it's on Cavani. Well, just look at this. They all back off him. And he takes the advantage. He goes through one, two, three. In the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. Using the wide route could be beneficial for Juve. Well, the cross needed to be... Oh, and the hero for the umpteenth time in his career, Cristiano Ronaldo. What late excitement here. Derek, it's simple. He's brilliant. He scores all types of goals and he gets winners too. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. A beautifully appointed arena, the home of Juventus here in Turin. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this gargantuan night by Lee Dixon. And Juventus hold the advantage going into the second leg of this Champions League tie. It is Juventus against Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, thanks, Derek. PSG with plenty of work to do after that first leg. Not quite good enough, really. They'll need a better performance tonight if they're to progress to the next round. Juventus and you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team high pressing well high pressing high energy I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham it doesn't half work when it works well sometimes you can just get exposed to the back but they've got it down to a T to be fair introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters they are, of course, a club and their current guys who believe that possession is nine-tenths of the ball. Well, they're very, very good at it, aren't they? They have the ball for most of the game. In order to do that, you have to have great passes of the ball, but you also have to have the movement. Watch how much movement they have today. Off the ball, it's incredible. And when they get the ball around the box, they seem to never, ever lose it and create chance after chance. be a tangible end product and Neymar 
And the block from Janic. Aimed towards Mbappe. Not messing around with that clearance. Carrying a genuine threat here. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Emre Can now. see does he mean business and a strong tackle if there's such a thing as the perfect challenge that was it but a throw in now Minier Mbappe in the centre no nonsense clearance and the decision is one of offside here from the keeper but high marks anyway seven and a half I'm going to give him for that one seven and a half well done Di Maria Dani Alves with it Verratti Di Maria now others to play it to well, let's see what he has in store for them clattered away Not to associate Pjanic with errant passes like that. Verratti. Now Minier. Verratti. now and it's Di Maria high echelon goalkeeping there corner given to PSG away over the touchline for a throw in Di Maria will he play it in and crossing here Di Maria and out of play for a Paris Saint-Germain throw in Neymar Cavani might fancy it and he's clear as lines. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Di Maria now. Mbappe with it. And it's Cavani. Crossing possibilities. It is Marco Verratti. Neymar. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Mandzukic. He's given it away. Yeah. 
Pjanic now. Cristiano Ronaldo. And close to goal. He's gone for power lead, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there. And you're right, it's just gone past the post. Goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Cristiano Ronaldo. Verratti now. Mbappe with it. Joao Cancelo. Any sort of lead is important. They have the lead. What have you made of it so far? Well, Juve will be happy if it stays like this for sure. There's still some work to do in the second half, though. With the clock ticking down before their half-time cup of tea, the players need to stay concentrated. Throw in here for PSG. Often tempting to blow your whistle straight away, but the referee let it flow and then went back and handed out the yellow card. Well, he thought he got away with it, only he? he looked over his shoulder, then all of a sudden the referee's there with a the yellow card. Here's Mbappe, by no means on his own here. Angel Di Maria is ready for it. The lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Cristiano Ronaldo and here's Blaise Matuidi Ronaldo and a goal it is the opener in this game well keep it tight that's what both managers would have been saying but now the opening goal's gone in tactics have got to change well it's not a brilliant goal but it's a goal in the back of the net, keeper couldn't do anything about it. A chance to revisit the goal. <laughs> the aggregate lead is 4-2. Dani Alves with it. Kim Pembe. This is Neymar. Mandzukic. A Juve free kick here. It's with Mandzukic. And they jam. Mandzukic he's in control of the situation oh, can he make this move count can they put it away manoeuvring his way forward The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. He has time to play it over. Tremendous block. This is Neymar. Verratti. Van Nats. Neymar. And with that, the first half comes to an end here in Turin.
lifted the decisive leg of this Champions League quarter-final and the second half begins. He's failed to hold it, Neymar. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? And stopped there by Marquinhos. And the defender takes care of business. Verratti now. No luck for Neymar in the passing department. In full control of the ball here. Thunders clear. Di Maria now. Minier. Dani Alves with it. Di Maria. Verratti dispossessed. Cavani will there be a tangible end product and Neymar Kylian Mbappe keeper's contribution but what next well a more than satisfactory performance from Ronaldo in the first half league well Derek has had a stormer hasn't he scored a goal and certainly troubled all the defenders around there as well I think there's more to come in the second half. This is Neymar. Now, what can he do here? Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. And now, Bernardeschi drives it in, back from the byline Janic lost it Verratti Mbappe with it it's an excellent attack from PSG, but will there be an end product Neymar Edinson Cavani's in the vicinity Taking care of business defensively here. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Incisive pass from Douglas Costa. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Federico Bernardeschi. And it's Bernardeschi. And another goal for the Bianconeri. Big moment for Juventus in this game. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back of the net. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? aggregate lead they have stands at five goals to two Dani Alves with it Minier Di Maria now now Minier Juventus, the old lady, they know how to keep the ball. What can they do from here? And Ariola acquits himself magnificently. Corner coming up for Juventus. And a deep ball in, and it's fallen for Ronaldo, and foiled only by the crossbar. Well, Derek is really, really unlucky there. He thought he scored. Will he get another chance? Well, sometimes for a goalkeeper, it's not about the spectacular, it's about the routine. Absolutely. Concentration, concentration. It's all between the ears. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Bernardeschi Now, 
Matsuidi. That's a gorgeous ball from Matsuidi. He's just got to continue his run. And it's gone behind for the corner. Substitution time it is. And a deep corner into the centre of the area. Not messing around with that clearance. Well, it might still work out for them. Alexandro now. Janic now. And now Douglas Costa. He's taken on the shots, but he's failed to beat the goalkeeper from there, Lee. Well, it was well worth the effort, but uh, well off target. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Jukic. Here's Mbappe. Neymar. Verratti. This is Neymar. And it's a really good looking Paris Saint Germain attack. What will they do next? Mbappe with it. Oh, you could see he was feeling the pressure, but gave it a go anyway. Not close, though. Well, it was definitely worth the chance. Just got the technique a little bit off. Matuidi. Kadira. Just been a thoroughly cogent and Bernardeschi. Failure to keep it on the part of Bernardeschi. Couldn't keep it. Now Kadira. Verassi now. Kira. Inside the final five minutes now. Kimpembe. Verratti. This is Neymar. Juventus have given it away. Mbappe with it. Marquinhos. Verratti. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Ball lost by PSG. Di Maria. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. And the scorer is Di Maria. Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique absolutely brilliant he's got the power he's got the accuracy and now he's got himself a goal what a tie laden with goals 5-3 here on aggregate The referee saying that will be all. Only one team could make it through. And in the event, that team, Juventus. Well, how close can two teams get? Really, really cracking tie. And in the midfield area is really important over the two legs. Holding your nerve as well. They've done that today. And they've gone through and they'll have growing confidence.